Hello, uh, this is the uh, Asian Movie Pulse interviews. I'm, I am Adriana Rosati, and today I'm here with director Naoko Ogigami. How are you today, director Ogigami? Good, good. How are you? <laughs> Good, good. Um, okay, so uh, as we have been already said, uh, uh, director Gigami is present his uh, latest film, Riverside Mukolita, as part of the Japan Society and ACA uh, program, female, the female gays, women, filmmaker, and Japan cats and beyond. And um, she will take part in the panel discussion, Women in Film, on November 19th. And um, okay, I, I had the pleasure of interviewing uh, director Gigami before in uh, Warsaw for the Five Flavors Film Festival, uh, where she was presenting her close knit film. And um, so I'm very happy to be here again with her. Um, okay, so let's start with my first question. Uh, <clears throat> your, your film, Riverside, uh, Mukolita is based on your own novel. Um, did did you have? A, I know that writing a novel and a skip writing is a very different affair. Um, did did you have uh, a film in mind when you wrote the novel? Did you know that you wanted to make a film after, or is something that came later? This idea. Um, yes, um, I had a film in my mind, and then actually I wrote. Um, I finished writing this script in 2018, which is what, uh, four years ago, maybe? Yeah, and then uh, I, yeah, and uh, we started the pre-production with uh, another producer with a uh, other company, other film movie company, but uh, uh, we had a like, big fight about casting and uh, it's uh, the project was uh, project collapsed mm. and uh, I was really angry and, and I couldn't sleep for three days <sighs> and I couldn't do anything but curse the producer and uh, mm. uh, I woke up the morning of the fourth day and I started writing a novel so it happens um, like first uh, first of all I wrote a script and then I yeah. start novel and then I rewrite the script yes, and then, it was the... yeah, so I had a, the film in my mind. Definitely though. a film in mind. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so in, uh, a big uh, lurking presence in, in this film is death. Uh, and it's a bit everywhere. There is also, there is even a, a graveyard of home appliances, uh, old telephones and washing machine and a big pile like a graveyard. Um, and would you like to talk about this choice of, of talking about death and the, 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 how that uh, death affect lives? Uh, was it, I was wondering if it was triggered by some personal events or phases of your life or, or is something that you always wanted to, to, to elaborate in a film? Yeah, um, well, I happened to watch a TV documentary about, uh, what do you say, the solitary death, the mm. dying alone. And uh, there was a scene where many ashes, the remains, are uh, lined up on the shelves of the city hall, like the like just like the scene in my film. Yeah, yeah. And the the image was really shocked to me, and start thinking about the each of the ashes that the people's life in. And I start thinking about the, this story. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, and yeah, it's very, it's very touching the 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 scene in your film of the all the ashes of the people. And uh, I um, yeah, uh, I like the 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 way the attendant there was so gentle and kind and. Uh, and bizarre the way they show the, the apple bones and it's so kind and delicate with, mm. with Yamada. Um, okay, and, but in your film, there is always a bit of, of comedy uh, and I was uh, often played uh, out with the, uh, on contrast between people and character. And I was wondering if there is some comedy even in Riverside mm. Mukolita. I was wondering if in this case it was a bit, um, more challenging uh, in using some comedy because of the subject matter. Okay. Um. Well, not really, because um, 
like the humor and the comedic elements uh, comes naturally from me. And yeah, it's, and then I think it's my color, putting my humor and comedic episode. So yeah, it's that it's not hard work. It's, yeah, it's yeah, not. Okay, natural. Yeah. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> and then another question is: uh, and, uh, in in your your past films, usually the protagonist the protagonists are, are, are not always, but often women. And I was wondering uh, if you can talk about this shift uh, to a film that has got lots of male characters. Mm. Um, I wasn't aware of it. It's not. Um, yeah, I um, I don't know. The story comes to me first, mm -hmm. so I didn't mean to. I Plan. wanted it to the uh, to the male character or anything. I just it the story comes to me. Hi. Okay. Okay. And uh, um, uh, yeah, the, you mentioned the casting and the, the argument about the casting uh, with the the, the first production and I, I um, my, my question was if you can tell us a bit about the, the casting process and I I've heard that you you contacted um, Kenichi Matsuyama when you were in Udine at the Far East Film Festival um, I don't know if it's true but anyway can you talk about his casting and uh, and uh, also the the, the uh, Tsuyoshi Muro I know there is a well well known comedian and if you had his in mind for, for the role uh, and, and now I'm curious to know why you you argue about the casting <laughs> yeah um right uh yeah um the right after I finished writing my script I had to I went to the the festival Udine festival yeah. east east Asian yes. oh, yeah Udine yeah and then the first day I arrived I had a dinner and with my producer and then in front of me that Kenichi Matsuyama was there and I thought that was a fate it was fate and uh mm. I didn't ask him at that at that time but uh, when once I went back to Japan I offered him as this character and then he said yes immediately mm. yeah so uh, but we have to wait for another three years because it's the um, the first the project was collapsed in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And about Muro-san, Muro Tsuyoshi, uh, uh, he's a comedian. He's a like pretty famous comedian, but uh, also he's an actor. And I saw his film, he, another his films. And uh, I th yeah, he was pretty much sweet to for this character, I thought. Mm -mm. And, uh, but uh, yeah, um, he was, we had a like difficult moment, difficult time to, to figure out what kind of actor he is. With mm. Muro Tsuyoshi, Tsuyoshi yeah. Muro, uh, during shooting, because he because he's known as a TV comedian in a way, so I don't need mm. that part. I don't need that unique character from him. Yeah, yeah. So I want to what to say to correct his path. I have to. Mm. Yeah. So we had a like big argument, oh. but uh, we are fine. Um, he understood. And he had uh, so much time to think about his characters. So we are happy um, working with together. Okay. okay. Yeah. And did, did they work well with Matsuyama san? Uh, because they, the, the, the couple, on, the odd couple on screen uh, is, <laughs> works very well. Thank you. Great. Mm. <laughs> okay. And, and can you? Tell, tell me something about the location. Why did you choose the location? And um, the Koyama, Koyama Prefecture, the location is uh, famous for the producing of marinated squid. Mm -hmm. So that's why we choose that. Ah, okay. Uh, 
<laughs> for that it's yeah easy to find uh the what is it uh factory the marinated squid factory uh -huh. yeah, yeah yeah so he was really the um the the place was really the location most of the location is very helpful uh, people are so nice even mm -hmm. though we were shooting in a uh, corona covid 19 no uh, uh, uh yeah but still we were we could shoot there mm, okay and um uh okay one um, another uh, another thing is the um well, I, in, in the character, Yamada is uh, um, is very scared at some point to uh, the idea of in, in, inherit the same miserable life of his father, and uh, you know, idea that, that this this kind of life can be uh, like uh, hereditary, and uh, and so you always are, you're always a very acute observer of family life and so i was wondering what is your take on this matter this idea that we always think that at some point we will end up looking being like our parents mm. and in, in in his case it gave him anxiety of, of course hmm. yeah it's a difficult question um it is a uh... It is a fact that the parents' education, educational background is related to their children's academic mm. performance, I think. Uh, it is sad, but true, right? Mm. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's eventually related to the level of living. And, mm. uh, and now I feel that people are feeling the sense of, what do you say? Uh, mm. stagnation. Uh, what is it? You are feeling stuck. Stuck. Uh -huh. You know, you are feeling kind of enclosed or stuck. Yeah. Uh, not only Japanese people, but also the all over the world, I think. And uh, we had to think about how to live in this, this what is it? That stuck moment. What do you The feeling of stuckness yeah mm -hmm. and um, i thought i have to find a like little small happiness in my life also and so i put that uh, <laughs> uh so that, I think that's important to find a, a little small happiness because we don't have what else we can do, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I saw this film a bit like about being about the small joys and happiness mm -hmm. that help to overcome fear and also about okay. second opportunities in life. So I hope that I had, <laughs> had the right view of, the, of your film. And um, uh, I, I thought it was very sweet the uh, the um, Yamada when he's, he's got this fear in over is overcome by fear in a night has got this method of, of saying the seven the number seven timetables mm -hmm. in in reverse uh, <laughs> they were sweet and funny so I was wondering uh, how, where does he come from this idea if it's something that you 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 you've seen it before somewhere or it's just uh, an idea um yeah i had an idea because um the nandaro we have to memorize the multiplication in the second grade in the japanese public school everybody mm -hmm. has to memorize that and i was totally behind and had it i for me it's it was a hard time to memorize that multiplication and uh, the seven times love uh, table was the most difficult one for me mm -hmm. and then <laughs> one I day, remember too. yeah one of my friends uh presented the the seven times table in reverse so easily and i was very shocked so that was my kind of trauma <laughs> so <laughs> of course, i know that um yeah that's that's my things you know yeah, uh, <laughs> memory from my memory 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. And um, you, your film always uh, full of quirky, lovable characters. And uh, uh, do, do you get inspiration from people that you come across and you meet, or, or they, they are usually a com completely from your imagination? Uh, I think uh, usually from my imagination. But uh, uh, my friend sometimes told me that my point of view is a little bit different from others. So mm -hmm. <laughs> make it, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. And um, uh, okay, so uh, the, now uh, I wanted to ask you about uh, your next project. If you if you have something already in your mind, or you're working already on something, or I uh, um, it's already completed my next film. Oh, mm. I <laughs> <laughs> hopefully I can show it next year. Okay. But uh, then uh, I have to write. I I don't have any idea. I just completed my ne next. I mean my new one, and then um, I don't have any project now. I have to start writing my another uh, new film. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, I I think that's it from me. And uh, thank you, Director Ogigami, for being with me yeah. today. And thank you for your time. And thank, thank you, thank you all, the translator and production and everybody. Thank you. Thank you.